What is going on YouTube? Before this video starts, I just want to give a big thanks to everyone that's been following me along this journey. This is episode 100 of Living Alaska, and I was considering on making this the final one, but I actually enjoy doing these, so I'm going to keep going on with them. And, uh, wow, 100 episodes. I didn't think I'd actually be able to do it, but I, I did it, and uh, it was fun. That's like a video a week. Most of the time it's a video, probably two videos a week, and then maybe once in a while I don't upload. So I really enjoy everything, and uh, I just wanna give a big thanks to everyone that's been liking my videos and everything like that. And let's go for another 100 videos. Enjoy this episode. It is a beautiful night here in Kodiak. We're at Manashka Creek here and we're with Kaizik, the YouTube legend himself. He really enjoyed his video that we did with uh, him and uh, that, that was really fun. So I just bought this fly rod and uh, I think the guy Lenny at Big Ray's, big shout out to him, I think he gave me a discount. I. Uh, I, I think he just made something up for me and I, I think he hooked me up pretty good. But uh, big shout out to him, great guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up here and um, try to get it going. Haji's here, He, I left my flies in the truck. He just grabbed them for me so I can't fish until he comes up here anyway. If I don't get it set up by then, then there's an issue. Alright, finally got it all together. I had it put together and then Haji came up and put the the fly on for me, so the hands are cold. It's pretty cold right now. Um let's see if we catch anything. Someone caught one. You got it. Go ahead, you got it. Nice. Did you know anything, Scott? No, freezing my hands off. I know. I had to put the rod down. What is it? A sling set. Really? Yeah. Now it's a crossbow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, do you need me to uh at the hospital, know you're coming in with frostbite. Yeah. Show them your hand. <laughs> look, look at mine too. Yeah, it's so bright. Yeah. Oh man, that's frozen hands. Yeah. They're moving though. <laughs> that's that's a good sign, right? Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. Good morning, day two, and uh, no luck fishing last night. Went out for Aurora. No luck with that. But. Uh, we both woke up at 8 a.m. I'm pretty tired because I didn't get home until like 1. But uh, we were like, let's go out and enjoy a sunrise. Well, it was 8 o'clock and the sun already was risen. So I was like, you know, we'll still get some cool colors. And temperature's 32 degrees. There's snow on the mountains already. It's absolutely insane. And I think it's way, way too early for that. It's not even October yet. So that's the earliest I've ever seen snow on the mountains here, AKA our termination dust. Does that mean it's gonna be a cold winter even though it's 32 degrees right now? 
not necessarily. Sometimes it's December and it's it just kind of mellows out. So we'll find out. Can't believe there's snow already on the peaks. That's insane. So we're gonna go and uh, Jessica said she wanted to take me somewhere. So let's um, onward. cool footage it went from winter or summer to autumn to somewhat winter but there were some really cool colors and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about the the reds and the greens and the purple or not purples uh, oranges it was it was really cool but uh, and the yellows so um, we're gonna head out over to the nets now and uh, maybe there's some cool contrasting photos over there but um, that's it for right now let's go onward
right, so after a beautiful morning getting some footage, I wasn't expecting such a great morning, but it happened, and now Angelica is leading me to my death or something. She's laughing creepily. But beautiful fall morning. I got some photos. Uh, I'll show you on the way back. There's a reflective lake right here. I took a photo. Actually, you can see that photo right now. Really nice morning. Then we saw the bears. Yes, we saw bears again. Well, it's the same bears. Uh, they are so cute. They remind me of Sniper and Sheriff because they just keep attacking each other, the two cubs do. So one of them will be kicked out sooner than the others. This is a pretty cool walk. Come on down, slide. No. Slide, no. slide. Come on down, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I told her if I did that, I would owe her some drop of flats really like random i didn't know there was a park over here it's kind of cool it reminds me of like a like a haunted area but i love stuff like this in the fall it's just i feel like i can make the photos look so cool and and rustic and autumny and stuff so yeah um we are not at the nets just yet we're gonna head back soon oh my god her butt is really wet i was not expecting to find this she didn't tell me about this wow i'm so glad i came out this morning i'm usually not a morning person wow come on you got it you got it come back up hey I gotta give it to Angelica. That's the first time she ever really found something adventurous on her own. Usually I'm the one doing all of it. But actually I think it's credit to her friends, Amanda and Jinky. Um really pretty, it really is. Beautiful fall colors. It's so weird. There's a lot of like beer cans and stuff over here. I don't think kids would come over here and do things, right? I think I think kids are good. They wouldn't be doing anything suspicious. Uh-huh, sure. Well, that will do it of the nets. That was actually, I'm not gonna lie, she was talking about it and I'm like, it can't be that cool. But it was actually pretty cool. She said in the last week the fall colors have really changed a lot too, so. That is really cool. I gotta, hold on. Let me get up. Here, can you hold this? <laughs> All right. And um, pretty, it's actually pretty cool. Huh, there's a spoon out here. God only knows what they're doing with that. They're probably just eating some pudding, right? I gotta, I gotta catch my breath. But yeah, it was actually really cool. One more, um, I didn't get a top down aerial view here, so let me show you. And look, there's this really cool, like, frost or ice. It's real. it's kind of cool. Actually, this lake kind of calmed down. You can see it's really calm. And I guess that makes sense. It calmed down, so you can see it's calm. But uh, it's it's really pretty. I'm going to get some other photos here. Check out the composition before I take the photo. Honey, that was pretty fun. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Appreciate it. It was a good adventure. It actually really was. I I got that really cool fall photo that I liked of, of the river over the with the Cope Mountain in the background, and uh, that might be one of my favorite compositions in Kodiak. And I'm gonna have to visit that in the winter time 
and in the summertime as well. Not the fall. Everything's ugly in the fall. Or everything's ugly in springtime. It's just brown. Um, beautiful, beautiful day. It's all some bears. And it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. So great, great, great morning. Better than last night. It was cold. My fingers were so numb and my my feet were numb just for fishing. And I was only fishing for like an hour. So it, it's getting cold here really quick. And I can only uh, I can only hope that we have a good, good winter. But not like a terrible one. Something that's beautiful, but not horrible. All right, we're going to go... Um, to the farmer's market now and I might try to go fishing again later on if, if Scott and Haji want to go so we'll try it out we're just dealing with a Kodiak traffic jam right now hi can you guys tell the vlog what kind of animal you are that's right you're a bison congratulations where's your backpack let's go Guys, it's a beautiful night here at Fossil Beach, and Angelica and I went to the rendezvous for dinner, and um, we had such an amazing day. We woke up early, and we got out and did things early, which we never really do. I'm always like, let's go out for golden hour at nighttime, so I like going out after 5 o'clock at night, and that's my thing. But So we went out this morning, saw the bears great great time then uh we went on that little adventure with salt coat mountain great great photo composition i got there then we went home we took a nap came out we went to the dinner and then we saw those bison the reason i love it is just because it's that classic yellowstone photo but we're not in yellowstone this is just kodiak and um Oh, I'm, I'm really happy with that. And I'm just kind of hoping that the sky opens up a little bit here. And maybe get some better colors in the night sky. But whatever happens, I'm perfectly happy with. Because that was absolutely incredible. This weekend we had... Well, today's Saturday. Sa today's Saturday. Uh, September 24th. 5th I think or 26 whatever that is and then um we might have some northern lights tomorrow night but and then but on the 30th we head out to see my family on the east coast and then I think we're going to drive up to Maine or Vermont or New Hampshire whatever it takes to get a couple days of, of fall colors which I would be really happy to see and I hope my mom can come with us then but if she can't because she's been having some really bad back pain uh, me and my me and my brother and angelica will go and it would be nice to take my brother on an adventure and show him how i do things he's it seems like he's kind of uh like he wants a schedule and i'm like i don't schedule anything i just go with whatever wherever the skies are clear and or wherever there's good photography opportunities because if i set my mind to one thing I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna be so tunnel vision and I'll miss something greater. So that's why I keep an open mind. But I'm going to end this vlog here. It was a great episode. I didn't catch any fish with Scott and I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll have time to go fishing again. I, I kinda did wanna go tonight but we were at the dinner and then Haji called. And I was like, oh, I kind of already had plans to head out here. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. I believe this video should be up before we go on our trip. I'm hoping it could be up by like Tuesday. And then I'm, I have a buskin bear video coming soon. And I might have that out by the day we leave if not uh whatever it takes i'll see you in the next one thank you so much like and subscribe to the channel helps me out a lot and i'm only here to show my experiences and inspire you 
to do something great as well. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Just a second ago, Angelica said, well, we saw the bear and the bison today. All we have to do is see a deer and a fox. And we just saw a freaking deer. Is there more of them? No, just Oh. Uh, yeah. That was funny. She's like, all right, well, now all we have to do is see a fox. If we see a fox, that would be actually insane. All right. Goodbye. We're not in Yellowstone anymore, are we, Mr. Bisons? What's up, guys? Hey, what are you doing? Beautiful night, huh? Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do later? That's disgusting. Yeah, put your head back down.